Hey, this is Sam with Mad Gear Co. And today we're gonna show you how we actually make our covert mesh nodes. So starting off, you're gonna need three things, an empty vessel, a battery, and a Meshtastic starter kit. We opted to buy the 19003 Meshtastic starter kit on the RAK website. The only things you're gonna need out of that bag are the things that I'm separating on the video right now. So that's gonna be your Bluetooth antenna, it's going to be your actual chipset, the small SMA antenna, and the antenna adapter. Once you have all your materials laid out and you're ready to go, we can start building. We like to use the 3.7 volt batteries that you can find easily on Amazon, but the issue is oftentimes when you order them, they are pinned backwards. So you can see here, I'm using a paper clip to actually take the pins out and swap sides. To make sure that your battery is installed correctly, just remember, the ridge goes to the back and the red wire should be towards the inside of the radio chip. We're gonna have to drill some holes into our vessel. So go ahead and get your drill and get a quarter inch drill bit. First start by drilling a small hole on the top right side of this canister. In order for the SMA connector to fit properly, you're going to have to re-drill it from the back at an angle. With the angle, you should be able to slip the SMA connector right in. Now you got to drill another hole so that the connectors can meet up with the chip. Now just route the cable through the new hole and it should be available for access. Now this is your Bluetooth antenna. We're gonna stick it on the inside of this flap and route the cable back through just like the other cable. Once both cables are routed through the hole, you'll be able to connect them to the chip. Before we get ahead of ourselves, we're going to have to do what I found to be the most aggravating part of this project. Find the locking washer and the nut and secure the SMA connector to the box. Now, please enjoy watching me struggle getting the washer and the nut secured properly. Once it's attached securely, congrats. Now you can connect your SMA antenna. Now that both your Bluetooth and SMA antennas are securely connected, we can move on to the fun part. Grab your radio chip and connect the Bluetooth antenna to the Bluetooth port and the SMA antenna to the LoRa port. Caution, make sure you do this before you connect the battery or else you could fry the chip. If you're confused about which antenna port goes where, there should be little text on the computer chip that says Bluetooth and LoRa. Those are the ones that you're going to plug in. Once everything is plugged in, now you can plug in your battery. There aren't a lot of ways that this is actually going to fit in there, so just make sure you copy the way I did it and it should fit. Congrats, you now have a functional Meshtastic node. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this build video.